So I am in Microsoft Word and I have opened a new document. I created a table and then I titled each activity. And these are all activities that the kids have done in class previously or in remote learning. And each of these is a link to a video that either describes and walks students through an activity or it is a video like YouTube where you uh, go to it and watch it and respond. So for each of these, you'll notice I have an image. I also have the link right here, which I made as short as possible. Sometimes I like to list these with the actual text in case parents need to print this and type it if something goes wrong. It's just something that I like to do. So kids could either click right here on the link to go there, um, and they're at my video where I've hosted it, or um, they can also, uh, we can link it to the image, which I think is a little bit more like a web page and more what the kids would like to do. So to do that, I'm going to highlight this. I'm either going to right click and look for hyperlink, or you can also highlight it and then go up to insert hyperlink. Either way will get you to the same place. I will then um, put the address. So right now I'm going to close it because I didn't copy it. I'm going to copy the URL, copy the URL, and then I will right click, add a hyperlink, and where it says address, that's where I want it to go. You can also add, put it, um, an email address there or add a different place like a bookmark in a document, which can be very helpful later if you're making a multi-page document. I'm not, this is a one-page deal, so I'm gonna press OK. And now, if I tap on this, it will take me directly to the video. Now, this is currently still a Word uh, document, so the next thing that I would need to do is export it to save it as a PDF. If my kids don't have Word on their computers, it doesn't matter. I have just made this, and I will now share it as a PDF so they can open it uh, however they need to. So there are a few ways to do this. Um, I can go to File, Share, send PDF or that's if you would like to email it. You can email it to yourself. I don't necessarily like to do that. I think it's better to go save as and this is where you can give it a title. Um, I'm going to call this choice board PDF. Then um, you need to do a little more than that though. Right now it's set up to save it as a Word document. If I scroll down here, believe it or not, PDF is hidden there. If I tap that, then I can go export. It will create a file that is a PDF, and then I just upload it. And PDF is the universal way to share these documents. You don't need a particular program or updates. It's, it's a PDF, it's pretty easy to open. So if I go here, here's my choice board. Let's check it out. If I double click on it, um, it's really a lot like a web page. Sorry, you'll see my second page where I didn't finish formatting. I just wanna check this one. And there it goes. It takes me right to the address of that video. So that's one way that you can do it in um, Microsoft Word. Mm -hmm.